Now you probably can't tell right now, but it is raining cats and dogs outside. I don't know about you, but when it's raining like this, I can't help but want to eat really, really bad food and watch some movies. So why not check out our new 720 LED projector? Let's do it. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to embarrass myself by pronouncing that, but that is who made this projector. <laughs> it's a 720 LED projector, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what this thing is all about. We'll see what kind of inputs and features it has, see how quiet the fan is, how good the speakers are, and especially the picture. Ooh, excuse you. A little flatulence from the new stuff. Hashtag new stuff in the comment section if you're ready to get into this package. All right, we got the, oh man, is it Joya? Jaya? Oh man, I'm gonna mess it up anyways. All right, so we got some pamphlets here. We'll look at them if we need to. Let's look at the accessories that come in here. So we have a, oh, this is your HDMI cable. I love it when they supply you with one of these. I hate running, I hate having to run to the store to get more stuff after I purchase something. So this is different. Typically, when I get a projector in here, it usually has the same old uh, remote control. This one is very different from all the rest of them. Let's see, we got our power plug, which is pretty standard. Then we have our, whoa, it's a lot of things on here. What is, okay, it's two different sides. All right, so we have our video cable here. So we got our left and right channels, and then we got our video in and out. And we have one of the same plug that actually splits up into a Y. So you can plug it into a 3.5 millimeter input. So let's get to the main star of the show. If she wants to come out, come on out of there, girl. Don't be scared. Okay. Man, still got more wrapping to go. This is a tiny little projector. Look at this. It's so tiny. Man, a 720 projector this small. This, this is kind of cool, man. So you just take this over somebody's house and just prop it up and play some movies on their wall if you want to. I don't recommend playing movies and stuff on a wall because it's just not going to look that great because the wall has so much texture and it's usually not white, white. But if you got to do what you got to do, go for it. You got your lens cap right here. Let me see if I can take that off of there. Yeah, there's your bulb or your lens anyways. So it as you uh, focus, it will come in and out. Can you see that? As you focus, it does move in and out of the projector. And then you have your keystone here, which is probably a 45 degree, not a 45, like a 15 degree keystone. This top right here, it's like this. Can you see that? It's like this gloss finish right here. And underneath it, you got this gray striped metallic material. That is super sexy, man. That's sexy. I wish a lot more stuff came with this type of design or you know they just put more flair into more products man because typically for a projector you don't get this kind of look man it's just a box but they actually put some attention in there all right what is this that's just uh, oh that's the power led so you got your power button i'm assuming that's mute and then you got your directional pad okay and then that's going to be your source there's a back button there that's it for the top and we've already talked about the front uh i don't know if this is a speaker grill or not we'll have to figure this out because we have a uh this is probably just a ventilation right here and we have a grid right here which is kind of like a heat sink maybe a fan so this must be the speaker right here ah, nope this is the speaker right here on the back side since we're on the back we got your ir sensor there and your hdmi in and then you got your usb in and your power port coming around the other side you have an sd card reader and then you got your pc rgb input there and then an, another hdmi oh okay this is hdmi too it's labeled clearly right there so you got two hdmis and then you got your av input that's where you can plug in this wire right here this this splitter and then you have a headphone jack on the bottom you don't see much there's no mounting screws or anything like that but you do have this little adjuster right here it's just basically a little screw that'll come out and let you kind of tilt the projector up or down if you need to, if it's on an unlevel surface. But that's it, this thing is super lightweight. I mean, it's like two finger light, man. It's super lightweight. So now we just gotta go through the menu and see what kind of picture this thing will put out. Cause I'm really excited for it, especially by the way it looks. I hope it's quiet. Okay guys, I got it all set up and I've got fantastic news for you. It is not loud as far as the fan goes. It's not gonna be annoying if you're sitting pretty close to it because this is not like a ceiling mount projector. So you don't wanna be sitting close to this thing and you hear more of the fan than you actually hear of the movie or show you're watching. So I give them thumbs up for a fairly quiet fan. Now, as far as the audio quality, it is just one speaker, but it's doing a doggone good job. 
uh, you get some highs in there, you get some mid range and you get a tiny, tiny little bit of thump for when you're watching those action movies. Due to copyrights, I cannot show you an action movie and give you a demonstration of how that kind of stuff looks. So instead, I'm just gonna show you one of my favorite YouTubers real quick. That way you can get a pretty decent idea of how this picture looks. So this might not show up on the camera or not, but I'm looking at it face to face and the color reproduction is spot on. Everything looks good. It's not overly saturated. It's not washed out. And I do believe it is actual like true 720p. The image quality is great. I don't see any pixelation on here. And by the way, I'm casting this on a 120 inch uh, screen. So when you get an image that big, you probably want to start looking for some pixelation, but I don't see it right here. As far as gameplay, you can obviously see that everything is nice. I mean, it's keeping up with the picture. Like I don't see any scratches or nothing like that. The picture is nice and colorful. So your gameplay on a big screen is going to be super smooth and just like all up in your face. I'm actually digging this projector. I still can't pronounce the company name, but I definitely think it's a great buy. Look at this. Look at that picture. Okay, I, I gotta get off of this. If you're planning on using this for something like a PowerPoint or any type of presentation, it's gonna work well too, as long as you got the room moderately dim. Uh, this room right here, there's like a slight little bit of ambient light in here, so it's showing a really good image right now. But as soon as you turn the lights on, it's probably not gonna be any good. It's probably gonna be a full washout. But under the right circumstances, if you can get those lights pretty dim, you can definitely use this for a business or a PowerPoint presentation. If you're into sports, especially watching the Texans get whooped up on, uh, this thing is actually gonna work out for you too. Unfortunately, it's not gonna help your team win, but at least you can watch them lose in style. Okay, here's a feature I thought was pretty cool. If you go into the menu, you can actually use this X zoom and Y zoom. The X zoom is to kind of basically squish it uh, horizontally. <laughs> so if you, it was already zoomed out to 100. That's why the picture looked, it filled up most of the screen. So let me go ahead and flick it all the way out to 100%. And we are, there. Okay, so we're at 100% right now and you can see that it's filled up. But for whatever reason, if you need to squish that image down, uh, just in case you didn't have the projector moved all the way in or out, you can do that if you want to. Also, if you go back, let me find that menu button. If you go back, you can also do the Y zoom in the exact same fashion. So right now we got it, let's squish it all the way in. So right now we got this super wide image right here and you can just keep squishing it down if you want to or raise it up. And yeah, that's a cool feature because sometimes you don't get this thing lined up just right and you kind of need to adjust it per your screen. So this actually helps you with your uh, screen adjustment. If you don't set it up perfectly manually, you can actually kind of optically do it as well. And of course you can, uh, you can change the color range, you can flip horizontal or vertical. Uh, I don't know why they have vertical on here because it's not a, uh, you can't seal and mount this thing. Maybe if you put it on some kind of tray or something like that, but it's there nonetheless. Then you have your different picture modes, which is uh, standard, and then you have soft and user and dynamic. I like standard because it, it everything looks a little bit more natural. All right, guys, let me shoot straight with you. I reviewed a ton of these budget projectors. This happens to be one of my favorites. It's not loud. The speaker sounds decent. I mean, typically you want to hook something like this up to an exterior speaker system, but if you got to use a speaker that's in here, it'll get the job done. Now let's talk about that picture. Y'all saw the picture, but it doesn't do it any justice over like the camera and then the YouTube app and then your phone or whatever you're watching this on. The picture comes out really good and I had it on 120 inches. I don't know what you plan on putting it in, but chances are it's not going to be bigger than 120 inches. If it is, it's probably going to still look good because it was nice and crispy on that 120 inch screen so i can't really fight anything about this uh it looks great i mean you don't really look at a projector and you know see aesthetics is one of the reasons why you would buy it but this thing is gorgeous <laughs> and then it puts out a great picture but i ain't no expert on this kind of stuff i'm just doing reviews man but enough of this projector let's talk about my social media now if you want to hang out after this video make sure you dig down in those links and follow me on instagram because i'm always trolling instagram for some fun but other than that i gotta get out of here man i got stuff to do and it's still raining outside but before you go if you had a good time hanging out make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and i'll see y'all at the next one hey where are you going no 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 sit back down we gotta talk about this you didn't have a good time all right then hit the subscribe button there you go reach down there there you go and then hit the bell because you need to know when i'm opening up more new stuff you got to come right back here and check this stuff out now don't you feel like a better human being all right i knew you would all right man i'll see you soon are you not entertained 
Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?